Uh, where are you? I, I know with the office today. Uh, I have to get uh, somewhere from here in half an hour. So uh, I came uh, early to the office. Ah, okay. Where are you stationed? Uh, Santa Clara. Ah, in Santa Clara. Okay. It's night now. It's uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. <laughs> What's your time? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's now here it's, it's 8 o'clock. Ah, uh, 8 o'clock. Yeah, in the morning. Yeah, uh -huh. in the morning. Hi, Redick. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hello. Hi. I, did, I believe Sam has been back from vacation. Let's wait for him for two more seconds, uh, two more minutes. Sam, Sam in, in uh, Flash Memory Summit. Oh, really? Okay. Is he? And, uh, I, I, okay. I think I saw, I saw him today in some conference room and uh, I plan okay. to, to meet him tomorrow. Okay. Ah, good. So, uh, do you have some uh, topic uh, need we discuss face to face? You mean you you and me? But I I won't attend the I don't if attend you, the the. I will meet Sam uh, Sam just uh, tomorrow. I think if you want us to discuss something, uh, face face by face. Uh, we, we, can, okay, uh, we can have a talk. I think I'm, I, I think I'm good. Okay. Uh, uh, Tusha, I'm not sure if Tusha has a chance to uh, get the air shuttle to Santa Clara. But if uh, I make it, we will meet, we will, uh, three of us will meet together. If not, uh, I and Samuel will, will sit together and uh, to talk something. The only thing I can think of is the is the is the the C store how 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 we can leverage SVTK and the 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 I, I learned from 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 manager that Intel is working on some uh, TV store I know that SVTK has a has its own TV support store. of a, uh, mm -hmm. yes another TV store I'm not sure what it is and uh, I just we, heard uh, uh, somebody talk about the I <laughs> I so no D A O S something like Distributed, okay. uh, distributed storage, something. But if you you guys could could talk more about the CISO, that would be great because we are working on the intermediate the solution of a uh, of our backend store, right? So the sooner we can uh, we can think about the CISO, the better. The merrier. Okay. Okay. I think uh, we have. Uh, it's due. So let's start. Uh, Last week, I I've been working on 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 testing uh, my replica right here yeah, using uh, Inshin's working progress uh, and loose connection loose connection support and with uh, Redex CPT branch uh, it got it got merged last night so it's worked great and it's another introduced. Some significant re performance regression, so I would like to get the merge ASAP. But I'm not sure if I should because the 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 it it needs the support from uh, it needs the loose connection loose -less connection support in uh, Chrome's Messenger. So if if we can could could mm -hmm. get the uh, the the mes Messenger part merged, that would be great. Otherwise, uh, it's a uh, it's done work even if we yeah. get it merged. And yeah, another I'm thing is that I'm uh, in the com commit right now. Maybe okay. uh, hopefully today or tomorrow. Okay, so, thank you. So, so Kabu, did you uh, did you mean the performance is getting better? No, not really. It's a oh. you know replica right just uh, submits the transaction to 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 two more remotes. So it's uh, what I can see is that it does not hurt the performance even significantly. So I think, and the, 
if if I on if I see the mean size and size to one, the performance is uh, almost the same as uh, as the, it, it it was. So I think uh, the performance wise is uh, the the PR is uh, is okayish. That's that was the one thing I was uh, I was concerned. So you mean the performance is the same as classic SAF? No, uh, not worse. Not worse. Similar. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't compare it with uh, with the classic OSD. Ah, okay. I, did, I compared the performance of uh, of the uh, Chrome OSD. Process OCD. equal to what? Yes. So, I I believe the the before the change the the performance of Chrome OSD outperform outperform that of classic OSD. So the classic OSD is the is an is now is now is now internal competitor. So I I'm not targeting it. What I'm I'm wor I was worried is that it will the performance of the Chrome OS will drop be because of some 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 PR. That's that's why uh, that's that's also the thing the next thing I would talk about because um, after the um, Simplicon we were we've been working on uh, on integrating the performance test into Jenkins and the has read has read has ready. Has already the uh, um, CPT side, and the uh, and the Chrome OS is pretty much self-contained to 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 support the Redux bench. So what's what's missing is uh, let me post the uh, uh, the Kanban URL in the chat. Hold, hold on, take a hold on a sec. Project. What's missing is integration the group code to 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 visualize the I'm posting the in a pick up part link. I'm posting the, the tasks, the leftover tasks in the in the chart window. What is missing is to to compare the to come up with some uh, representative um, test cases that we will use to to tell if a, a PI is uh, could, could might change change her the performance significantly. Another thing is to um, to 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 write a small small tool based on CBT test result to to see if it's uh, much worse or, or or on par with the baseline performance. And then we need to to work on work on safe uh, safe builder to add a job to cruise Glue them up to to show to show the to return the to show the test result on GitHub, and I think that's uh, that will be next step. And um, I will I will try to come up with some uh, some uh, some test cases and uh, and run run with some of our recent change. For example, Inchings uh, Inchings test. Oh, sorry, Inchings uh, change on. On messenger and my my replica right to to verify it. And uh, aside from it, uh, I I managed to not manage it, but uh, I partially port uh, Roxb to Sister and uh, the te first <coughs> sorry the first test case passed. So I think the the approach is workable functional functionality wise, but uh, I we still have a uh, two like. Three three pro problems ahead. One is to to make sure that it it its performance can at least on par with uh, the Codex version. A second is to make sure it can be uh, upstreamed by Facebook upstream. And uh, I I post a, a post on Google or oh, sorry a Facebook uh, discussion group. And one of the maintainer replied to me that it's uh, the approach is uh, uh, looks great, but uh, it cannot promise that it the the change will be reviewed uh, promptly. So I think I I probably I will send send the preliminary PR to to upstream to get it uh, reviewed and get more attention, but um, and do some. Uh, do some performance test against it, but I I do think that Chenmei we 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 need to ban abandon either either of our 
um, approach because we we don't have a, a definitive answer to if to whether we will go either way because I'm not sure if its performance is it better or worse. So I, what I can think of is that we need to um, we to make make sure that the interface is well designed and then it can it can calling to either the visualized blue store or the the visualized blue this uh, visualized the systemized blue store. So you mean after you port in the Rocks TV to Sister, so BlueStore can mm. run in the Sister world? Not really. It's not not there yet. The I think uh, BlueStore is also built around with uh, with Mutex and uh, some uh, some uh, like condition variable and some. It's not. It's not. We have not rewrite. We write the we write the uh, blue store using Sistar, but I think the the building block is you know the building block of blue store is a, is a uh, rock CP. So once we we have function workable, we have a working uh, rock CP Sistarize the rock CP, and we can we can, once we ensure that its performance is uh, is good or or on par with that with with uh, Post explosion. We need to think about if we need. We need to to de determine determine if we want which route we will take. Take the sisterized RocksDB or sisterized Blue Store. I mean by by sisterized uh, Blue Store. I mean the a, a, the Blue Store in Alien Worlds. That's the approach you are taking. So, do you, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I don't know if the. Alien World Blue Star can mm -hmm. work with C Star World Rocks DB. How they, no, how they a, work together? No, that's not 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 the plan. Not the plan. They are they are mutual mutual exclusive. My approach oh. is that we will rewrite the whole thing from okay. the bottom up. But but for the Alien I'm Blue Star, sure it the still performance. used the original uh, Rocks DB, right? Not the C Star uh, Rocks DB. Right. That's, that that would involve some extra work, and uh, and if we have a very good understanding of uh, our future of a uh, C store, and it's a uh, it's di it's a, it's disk layout can can also apply to slow device like slow SSD and uh, HDD. That will render the the whole effort useless in in long term. Because we will, we will use, we will switch over to C store, right? Uh, what do you mean the uh, if we do not support uh, the HDD the the low uh, low, low speed? Uh, yeah, what's the difference? You mean so the 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 I/O will not block there? No, the the whole point of uh, C store is that the it is designed uh, around the the fact that we will um, we will we 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 can address the the random access is much faster than than HDD, so we can redesign the layout without catering the the needs of uh, the hype catering the hypersist built on which we build we build the blue store. That's the whole whole point of a C store. But if we have a a, a design that could also work with uh, HDD and low end SSD, that would render the 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 systemized blue store useless because we will we will all in on the on the C, C store. I don't understand. So why why mm. there is difference between the the uh, for example the high speed uh, disk and uh, the low speed uh, disk? What 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 the difference for our coding? It's more about the um, I assume that the the append speed of a low HDD is much much faster than 
then random access, right? Sequential access of HDD is much faster than random access. So the layout of the exactly the it's because uh, it's because the huge seek time of uh, of spinners. Uh, if you need to move uh, the record the head somewhere to point to somewhere to somewhere other location on disk, it takes a lot of time. That's not the case of sequential uh, writes and uh, blue store and current OSD classical one are doing a lot to linear to linearize those writes. We are we are burning we are sacrificing a lot of CPU power just to make to 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 pan to batch basically to batch a grab of writes and put data to to the same location to avoid six. That's not necessary in case of uh, of uh, NVMEs. But for for so for us to handle the I/O request, it's just a, a synchronous I/O, right? Uh, so why we identify what the hardware underlying? Because the access pattern impacts the performance a lot. But it's a synchronous for us to do the I/O request to do the I/O. No, it's not a, not a, quite a related to async. Or synchronized I/O or async I/O. It's more related to how we design the the, the backend storage, the object storage, and it will 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 determine the the future of the uh of 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 backend of Crimson OSD. Because I don't think we can ditch the support of uh, HDD, even though Crimson OSD is targeting fast uh fast storage device. This is all, not our focus, but we need to support it. I think that uh, that pretty much I have. If you may. Yeah. So uh, I I rebased uh, some code and uh, provide the PR for the futurized uh, the future store all the interface the hide the collection definition. So please review, and uh, yeah, because the patch is bigger and it's still uh, debugging on the blue star, uh, alien blue star. So I just uh, separated the, the the some small functions uh, from the blue star. Yes, but regarding it's to, to, to the inline namespace story. Regarding to the inline namespace, I I tried to come up with a demo, but uh, I failed to do so. I don't think we can reopen the. Uh, Inline namespace after we inline it, so it's not workable. I okay, always okay. think to take your 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 approach. Okay, so uh, yes, I just split the the patch and uh, rebase it and uh, still working. Uh, and I have three days to attend the flash memory summit. And yeah, and that's all. Do you have some 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 topics you want to talk? Discuss with uh, with us. Uh, no, <laughs> not really. Okay. I just uh, uh, last week and uh, just to ask me to register for the Flash Memory Summit because Samuel is there and maybe I have a chance to talk with each other. <laughs> just uh, this is the main topic for me. <laughs> I think you do. You guys could could to, to could invest more time on the on backend side uh, on, on on how we're gonna de design the object store. And to, uh, to, yeah. to, to talk more about the future of a blue store and the C store. Yeah, the fresh memory summit is most focused on the hardware. So I just uh, get to know the new concept of flash memory hardware and something like namespace NME, support namespace yeah. and uh, communicational storage device. <laughs> The story okay, device has the communication and, uh, features. <laughs> and the open channel SSD also, I think. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I think it's uh, it must be relevant your, your discussion with the summit. Uh -huh. uh, Redek, how's it going? 
I'm working, uh, the main focus uh, is implementation of uh, Ceph classes, object classes uh, for Crimson. I have a I have a branch. Uh, it's almost ready at the moment. Uh, well, the first stage is almost ready. At the at the moment, I'm passing uh, all tests from CLL, CLS hello test uh, test cases, except CLS hello filter, which is about uh, filtering during on a PG listing. Uh, I'm implementing this missing part right now, uh, and fortunately we'll have, and hopefully uh, we'll have a, a PR uh, maybe today or uh, tomorrow. This will be the first stage. Uh, another second one will be just moving to uh, RBD-related uh, test cases. Uh, also, I'm aware, Kifu, uh, I'm aware that I owe you re-review of the uh, of the. Uh, uh, replica rights your uh, on your lossy policy implementation in uh, in messenger yes i think the, that's uh, the async messenger oh sorry the the criminal messenger review is more important because it's uh, my pr depend depends on insurance one and really uh, my, my learn how 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 is the input buffer Going regarding to your your upstream work on CSR. Well, at the bit it's it's uh, postponed. I plan to I plan to uh, talk. Uh, I plan to reiterate basically uh, to avoid affect. Have you proposed uh, things that would uh, affect the performance of uh, DPDK based uh, messenger? So we would imp we we would improve we would sacrifice we would trade off improvements for POSIX stack at the price at the uh, at the cost of making uh, DPDK performance worse. Uh, that's because uh, Avi wants not only to have unified interface. No ifs like uh, are we go is is DPDK that then a uh, otherwise go another way. Avi wants also, Avi wants not only this, Avi wants to avoid not only this, Avi wants to have the entire uh, behavior uh, unified between those stacks. Uh, the goal is to, uh, is to help people testing their applications with POSIX stack and port them, basically move them to, uh, to, native stack without any extra testing that's uh, that's actually a problem and i believe we'll need to we uh, a second round of discussion uh, my idea is to uh, is to um, is to implement more money changes uh, requested by abby which are very reasonable like uh, the vectorized uh, uh, like the, like the vectorized reads in the into buffer factory and uh, try him to convince <clears throat> that buffer factory basically is a, uh, that performance is more important than the unified behavior. Yes, uh, I, I talked to... uh, with uh, Ronan. Uh, I talked with Ronan when he was uh, in Poznan. I hope that uh, we'll be able to maybe even meet Abby face to face before the summit in uh, in uh, San Francisco. Yes, that's a good point. Because I keep... and, uh, I also understand Avi's concern because he wanted wants to avoid the segmenting the the two the two, two Yes. <laughs> exactly. But, but I'm afraid it's uh, we need to uh, we will need to segment. I don't, those requirements I be, are, are basically uh, are, are basically contrary, and we will need to try to sacrifice something or perf performance uh, or uh, uniformity. And personally, I bet that performance is much, much, much more important for CSTAR. That nobody would even think about employing CSTAR uh, because of, uh, of, of because it's. I don't think that anybody employs sister because it's nice, because it's not, it's not. 
tester is put to Agreed. products only because of performance. That's like why we choose this C product instead of Visual Basic because not because it's very easy. Exactly. To do. That's that's the point. If, if C, C star, well, I, uh, if C star uh, like read interface is uniformed, so does it mean that as our uh, like messenger, we we users still needs to identify which stack we are using to. No, have you uh, have you uh, have you written explicitly that it's absolutely the worst possible case? There is at the moment there is no way to get to know which stack is really used. Uh, there is no API to detect which stack your your application is dealing with. Mm -hmm. And have you don't really don't really want to introduce uh, such uh, API. Okay. That will uh, be that will break uh, the uniformity at the level at the level of uh, of API. As input buffer factory keeps the API uniform, but still when it comes to behavior, when we are move, when 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 we, when you move from the a, from the API uniformity domain to uni, behavior uniformity domain, well, it's still different. So input buffer factories. Oh, sorry. I saw that you finished. So uh, input buffer factories uh, at the moment is uh, postponed. I plan I plan to get back to it and reiterate. The best idea will be to to meet uh, Avi face to face. Uh, we had in the run with Ron in Poznan, We had uh, we had a lot of discussions of uh, on uh, on input buffer, and I I think I really have I really have reasons. To think that Avi still misunderstands the uh, the concept, but to clarify, well, it's hard to me to write a, uh, a, an email in more uh, that it would be more clear than what I already written. So I believe that I need to change the uh, mean the the mean uh, the 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 communication channel. Yeah, and uh, Malik, we we said the. We said we'll write it together and let's do it. I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, we, we do have to write something that uh, might uh, convince uh, Avi to, to do it. I have to leave in uh, five minutes. So I okay. just, sorry, if okay, if okay I, I'll just tell you what uh, was going on and uh, I leave. Um, I uh, uh, added the uh, support for uh, the server side of Unix domain sockets to Sistar. And I have, uh, uh, the, if, to remind you, the idea was to support uh, the admin uh, uh, interface that goes through a Unix domain socket uh, to allow, for example, to change the logging level, which is what I needed and uh, what I wanted to support. So the first thing was to support, uh, to add native support for uh, 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 listening and, and uh, uh, getting data off uh, uh, Unix domain sockets. Uh, the way I did it is to add uh, a third uh, transport. Currently, there are two transports uh, in uh, Sistar, uh, TCP and SCTP. And uh, I added uh, the Unix domain as a third transport. Now, what I have now is that it's working apart from a few slight uh, problems. The one is that I got, I probably got the uh, core uh, uh, attachment wrong. I think Yingqing is the, uh, I'll probably ask uh, Yingqing help with this. Uh, what I have now is that if I have multiple CPUs, uh, only if by chance I'm connecting to the, uh, I'm, uh, the client uses the a Unix domain socket that is uh, listened by the specific CPU, uh, will I get uh, a real a working connection? I have a connection, but non working in uh, interchange. I'll, I'll, I'll work on that. And then I'll probably ask you to review uh, a PR for just this part uh, uh, of, of the Unix domain server side. Apart from that, it's working. I can communicate over uh, Unix domain. 
Um, that's that's mostly what I did uh, uh, this week. So right, the training is happening on the sister side, right? Sorry? Because I think I think your change is uh, you made a change to on sister, right? Sister yes. To add the three the third third transport layer support. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I see. So what, what's Actually, the usage of the of this new socket in 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 staff? In our stuff, there is uh, the usage. We we have uh, there is a type of admin commands that are going through a, a oh, Unix okay. domain socket. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell something. Tell a daemon. Self daemon. Tell something. Okay, uh, I know. This is to change something. configurations, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. the, uh, when I were with Radek, I, I was trying to change the log. Uh, the log level uh, during operation, mm -hmm. and I, I wasn't able to do this. so. So this is a separate and uh, con self-contained issue I could tackle without uh, uh, understanding too much about uh, more than I know about uh, the OSD mm -hmm. just by introducing uh, it to Sista. Now I'm working on uh, I I have to merge it back to our Sista, but it. It's working uh, nicely for now, apart from the one problem I have with the, with it, mm -hmm. which is which is probably I think you I think you I saw code by you Yingqing that fix that is doing it right, and I'll try to copy or to ask you for help in this. Okay. And I have to leave. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So see you next week. See you see next week, Honan. Bye. 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 Um, yes, uh, last week I went through all the uh, all the async messenger tests and uh, the existing uh, the existing async test uh, intercept both sides when when doing tests with with pol with different policy combinations and the different fault cases. But we have two new combinations, like to combine the Crimson and the async test. And currently, we we can't uh, make it uh, running in the same process because they are using the same common library. So I designed a different way to to run. If if it is async messenger, I run it in a separate process and uh, only intercept and evaluate one side and which is always a crimson messenger so, so so just intercept crimson and evaluate if crimson messenger works properly uh, with with the peer the peer can be a crimson messenger or async messenger uh, and also the test code can be simplified with with this one side implementation because we don't need to re-implement the same interception and evaluation for async messenger. And uh, and but it still needs some implementation to notify the peer side to connect the test side as a client and set different policies and the restart to as a different as a Clean new test suit. So uh, com yeah, currently, I mean, have, have you considered using some some Python code or batch code to drive the test? Uh, and I think it will be simple if we we just need to start. If if it is Crimson Messenger here, we just run it in the same. Uh, in the same pro program and it is a default unit test and if we want to test with async messenger we just start another process maybe with a script or a simple script to start it and uh, it will the, the test will understand it and uh, when test is finished it, it can ask the peer to to shut down so i think it's just a simple command to start okay that a async peer Okay. And uh, the 
current current I have implemented some part of the notification uh, part of the implementation I, I will continue to work on it with the with the tests with to inject failures and uh, currently I'm splitting the commits of looseless policy and uh, I think it can be t today or tomorrow and after that uh, I think it can be more simpler to review because there are many trivial changes with the loose list policy. That's all. Any questions? Okay. So see you next week. Have a see you. And have a good night. Thank you. The same for you and see you next week.